Photogrammetry is the art, science, and mathematics of deriving 3D information from 2D imagery. I know we've got an engineer and she said a cool thing and I didn't really realize it at the time. She was like, yeah, it's so cool how the photographers, you know, you see them in the morning, they'll have their little briefcase with their hard drive. They go out to the airport, they plug that hard drive in the camera, they go do missions, you know, all over the state and they come back, they download on the computers and send it to the squads and then now you just have miles and miles of data to look at in the process and it's, it's, it's amazing, it's pretty cool. Hey, welcome to the Photogrammetry Unit. My name is Nick Short and I'm heading to a planning meeting today. We have four production squads in the unit and then we have two support squads. Each squad has you know, a supervisor, a couple engineers, and then a couple engineering technicians. We fly the project, we come back, we bring the imagery here in the office, and then we essentially are surveying from our desk. My name is DJ Griffin. I'm an aerial photographer with the NCDOT Photogrammetry Unit. Today I'm here with Monica. She's an engineer with the Photogrammetry Unit, and we're doing some training on the camera. One of the things that makes the Photogrammetry Unit special is the camera that we use. We use a Vexel UltraCam. It is a digital mapping camera. It's 450 megapixels. It has eight different lenses that go into making one image. And it's what's called a metric camera, which means that we have a mathematical model of the interior of the camera, all the lens distortions. And so that camera allows us to be incredibly accurate with our photography. Hello, my name is Matthew Macon. I'm the UAS specialist, and we're here today in Raleigh, North Carolina at the Walnut Creek Softball Complex, testing out our fan for RTK. So in photogrammetry, we use two different types of flight missions. The man fly is more like a telescope, so it's able to capture large areas fairly quickly without much issue. And our UAS is more like a microscope, being able to focus in on small areas and create high resolution models that we can then use. The first thing we do is assess that location to make sure that it's feasible for us. So aspects such as overlap and speed of flight as well. Once that mission is planned, we then provide location surveys, a panel plan to go and survey those points and give us that information back so that when we come back to the office, we can measure that in our imagery and our software. My name is Donald Early. I'm a engineer supervisor too. The good thing about photogrammetry is, is that you can travel anywhere in the state without leaving your office. One day you may be doing work down at the coast. The next day you may be up in the mountains. You may be dealing with a disaster, like maybe a hurricane. For the most part, I'm in construction side of things right now. I'm working with originals, intermediates, and finals, and doing a volume calculation to get to our resident engineer in uh, Winston-Salem. My name is Faith Driver. I am an engineer too in the photogrammetry unit here in Raleigh, North Carolina. So we try to do most of our work independent and then the teamwork really comes in at the end or at the beginning of a project. Sometimes before we start a project, we all get together, we talk about what we need, how long we've got to do it, what the goals are. And then we kind of all break apart, we get our jobs done. If there's a question that comes up while we're working, then we may get back together as a team to figure out the way we want to draw something or the way we need to deliver something. And then we, again, we're back on our own a little bit. My name is Monica Sede and I'm an engineer one here in photogrammetry unit. And we're going to do a completion work right now. The special thing about photogrammetry here is the stereo environment. So when you uh, look at the imagery wearing the glasses, you can feel that you are on the top of the, like in the plane looking down and you can see everything elevated with the real elevation of all the buildings and all the ground. And you can feel like you're, in, you're, you're there on the top of the uh, project. And pretty much you're reading the overlap between two images. So from having a 3D image, you can know the real elevation of the ground. And it also can help you to create a real shape of the terrain and that will help you to measure all the real heights of the ground. We can use it later to calculate volumes about the projects. Technology is always changing. So we're constantly looking to see what's new out there and what else we can use to help us do our job in an efficient manner to serve the people of North Carolina. If you're interested in making maps, if you're a very detailed oriented person. If you like dynamic, fast-paced moving environments, you like to work independently on computers with big data, uh, this will be a perfect career fit for you. Come join us at the Photogrammetry Unit and we'd love to have you.